the circumstances don't really matter. I was, I was, I had to sign a doc. I think my dad, my father had just died a few weeks before and I had to sign some kind of legal document. I went into the, uh, I think it was a, a, um, a lawyer, a law firm and I had to sign some kind of document. Anyway, I made a stupid little mistake on the document. I think I signed the wrong uh, box or something. So I ruined the document and then the document had to be resent over from another country or something like that. The circumstances don't really matter, but what matters is that out of the blue, and it shocked me really, I was walking home from the law office or wherever it was, and just this profound wave of shame and guilt just out of nowhere just came and these voices in the head just out of nowhere like jeff you are a complete f up you know you 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 what's wrong with you like why couldn't you sign the you signed the wrong box what's wrong with you you're so dumb like blah 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 and it was it was shocking you know out out of nowhere and just suddenly i wasn't an adult anymore i was like a seven-year-old kid going oh my god like what's wrong with me? I did a horrible thing. And it's objectively, all I'd done was sign, it was like nothing, you know, rationally, objectively, it was just signing the wrong box on a form. It wasn't a big, it wasn't a big mistake. Like, it, you know, it was, it was nothing really, but it was fascinating to see just what was triggered in me. These voices in the head and these sensations in the body, like, you know, again, like, it's like a sick feeling. It was like a feeling of, of nausea, like tightness in the belly, in, in the in in the chest, the throat was all closed. And um and I remember just walking, like just being shocked at how vicious this voice was out of nowhere and how intense these feelings were. And then I noticed, then I noticed what I noticed was that there was a part of me that wanted to get rid of this experience right again understandably there was a part of me i don't want to be having this experience i want the peace and the bliss and the joy and the relaxation i don't want this and then of course what happened is that the more you fight it the more i try to like shut up mind go away sensations the more you go to war with yourself the more i did that then the louder the shame gets the louder the guilt gets the louder the voices get, the more intense the sensations. It's like they they feed on your resistance. They you empower them with your pushing away, with your resistance, with your trying to stop them. And so then I kind of noticed that. Then I was shocked. I was shocked at that. I was oh my god! Like, look at me going to war with my experience. And so now not only do I have the shame and the guilt, but now I also have my fight against the experience, which just makes it worse. Anyway, um, I'll try and keep this story short. Uh, <laughs> so fast forward about an hour, a couple of hours. And I, I remember I went, I think I was at the time I was staying somewhere with a swimming pool, just happened to have a swimming pool. And I went into the swimming pool and I, um, there was a moment where I just turned towards the shame and the guilt. You know, I had this experience of just, oh, this is just like, it's just a little child in me. That's all it is. It's so innocent. It's so innocent. It's this little child in me that really feels he did a horrible thing. That feels like he's a horrible person for signing the wrong box. He feels like he's going to be punished. He feels like daddy's going to hit him or mommy's going to scream at him because he did a bad thing. And that means he's a horrible, unworthy, sick, yucky, sinful being. And suddenly in that moment in the swimming pool, I, I experienced myself as just being bigger. Yes, we've, we've been talking about this, just being bigger than all of it. I wasn't caught up in the shame and guilt anymore. I was the one holding. I was now holding the shame and the guilt. The shame and the guilt weren't holding me, but I was I was holding them. I I was bigger than the shame and the guilt. It's like I was I was the presence. I was the parent. I was I was the 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 one who loved this little one. I wasn't trying to kill him. I wasn't trying to get rid of him. I wasn't trying to silence him. I wasn't trying to shut him up. I wasn't trying to purify him. I wasn't trying to escape him and become enlightened. All of that fell away. 
all the little tricks of the mind, you know, even trying to transcend it or go beyond it or increase my vibration, all these little tricks. It was all, and it was just fell into simplicity. It was just me having a swim with this little one inside of me who felt bad. And then there was a sense of, hey, you know, you can, you can, you can be here. You can, you can swim with me. You can come for a swim with me. Let, let's go for a swim together. Actually, it's kind of what we were just talking about with Alice, like not trying to fix him, not trying to shut him up or not trying to make him transform even. It was just, let's go for a swim. Like, I love you and I'm here and I'm not going to try and get rid of you anymore. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to abandon you. I'm not going to try and silence you. I'm I'm just, I'm present. I am presence itself. Um, let's go for a swim or let's go for a walk or let's sit together under the stars or let's, whatever, let's sit together in meditation. Because in a way, this was a kind of meditation. Um, it's all meditation. And then what I noticed over the next hour, a couple of hours is, is that the the shame and the guilt just kind of, dissipated kind of faded away but not because i did that and that that's really the point i wanted to make not because i not because i made it go away but actually the opposite because i i gave up there was like a surrender i was like maybe you're maybe you're not going to go away it, it became that kind of conversation you know oh maybe it's not about making you go away maybe you're not going to go away Maybe it's not about making you go away. Maybe it's about becoming friends with you and listening to you, like, and and um, holding you. You know, love, love, really. So it's 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 that sense of shame and guilt. Um, they don't have you anymore. You have them. They don't hold you anymore. You hold them. A shift into holding what's here instead of what's here, instead of being trapped by it. But the the way you get there is not by resisting and not by attacking and not by, you know, um, here's the method for getting rid of shame and here's the method for getting rid of guilt and here's the method for being free from fear. This You start to feel the violence in that. You know, it's like, how can you truly look that child in the eye? Again, it's a metaphor, but and 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 say, I want to get rid of you. I want to be free from you. It's not even that. It's like you don't free yourself from them. They kind of free themselves from you. Shame and guilt free themselves from you when they feel loved and when they feel safe and when they feel listened to. They get to have their voice. They get to have their say, you know? And then just to finish the story, this is like a few hours later now, but I, then the humor came back. Then I began to laugh. I was like, oh my God, like what a journey I've been on in the past few hours, just from tick, just from signing the wrong box. It's incredible. It's so humbling. It's so humbling and so fascinating. And, and then not just humor came, but also gratitude came. And, and you can't skip to gratitude. You kind of have to go through the process, but then there was this genuine gratitude. Oh, it's like, thank you, life, for helping me, for giving me the, the circumstances, for like making me tick, the, uh, sign the wrong box to trigger all of this stuff to so I could meet myself more deeply. Thank you, universe, for giving me this experience of meeting myself more deeply, of meeting this this very precious child inside of me of going for this beautiful swim of, you know, thank you. But you can't, again, you can't skip to the good stuff. You can't skip to the gratitude and the peace and the love and the joy. You kind of have to go through the, you know, go into the cave, you know, you go and go into the dragon's, the dragon's lair and, you know, you run the risk of, you know, maybe the dragon will eat me, you know, or maybe, I'll realize that the dragon was actually a, a dear friend and a very precious part of me. And, and um, you know, I'll fall in love with that dragon and we'll live happily ever after together. And, you know, and so the, these days, again, I think I said this last week, but it's like that kid, that that little boy can come visit again. It's not about getting rid of him. If he wants to come visit again, if I tomorrow I sign the wrong box or, or you know, or, or 
some kind of circumstance triggers this this shame, this little boy, then I I'm looking forward to meeting him. I mean that's all I can say. I'm I'm looking forward to um, meeting myself m- more deeply, you know. And I think that's I, th- I just think this is just m- a much more healthy relationship with shame and guilt you know instead of oh i don't want to feel shame and guilt or what's wrong with me for feeling shame and guilt or how do i free myself how do i transcend how do i delete how do i how do i destroy the darkness in me maybe it's not darkness maybe it's just this little child that is longing longing for for light which is love you know it's longing longing to be held in your light longing to go for a swim with you or longing to meet you you know go for a walk have a meditation have a cup of tea so thank you so much friends it's been a long call uh thank you for thank you for bearing with me and uh thank you for showing up and for showing up for yourselves and for being willing to to go to these these places and um for having the courage to to look because really that's what it's all about it's looking with with fresh eyes um lots of love to you all i'll see you uh i'll see you soon